For nearly 13 years, Nigeria has witnessed incessant attacks by Boko Haram insurgents, mainly in the northeast. Millions of people have been rendered homeless and are now taking shelter in internally displaced persons' camps, a development that has led to major humanitarian crisis for the country. To address this challenge, the United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs has designed a response plan for the year 2021 to support the Nigerian government. The Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Sadia Farouk, joins the meeting virtually and is positive about the impact of the plan, just as the UN resident and humanitarian coordinator expressed his concern over the increasing security challenges in the country. It is important to underline that the requirements for this 2021 humanitarian response plan reflects a growing need. At the same time, as we know that very likely the available resources will not be commensurate with those needs. It is a protracted crisis. And what does this mean to us, for those who have been dealing with this situation before? It means it's a time for us to review our approaches and strategies in responding to this crisis to support durable efforts to resolve the conflict. The 2021 Humanitarian Response Plan covers areas such as education, health, nutrition, shelter, food security and early recovery of livelihoods for the IDPs. Panelists, however, believe the inclusion of women and the localization of the plan are key factors to make its implementation successful. There will be no peace and there will be no durable lasting solution if we do not involve women. They are half of the population. We need to adapt the localization agenda that was signed during the ground bargain. There are currently 1.92 million internally displaced persons in the northeast, particularly in Borno, Yobe and Adamara states. And that figure is expected to go higher in 2021. The unveiling of the humanitarian response plan for the year is expected to bring hope to these persons. The concern is whether that hope will get to them. Emperor Simon, Channel Television News.